Hi guys, you are watching our Habitu, especially for young innovative minds. So today we are going to discuss Nata strategy day number three, part one. Okay. So there was a doubt from a audience that what is datum? I think in some of the questions of previous Nata exam. Uh, to choose the most appropriate words which relates to a image they included the word datum also so what is datum actually datum refers to a line plane or volume of reference to which other elements in composition can relate it is one of the six ordering principles of architecture it organizes a random pattern of elements through its regularity, continuity and constant presence. That is, it ties together or it anchors all elements of design. Visual continuity is necessary to establish a datum. Okay, so this is an example of how architects use datum. Okay look here sorry you can see how the buildings are arranged through a datum line so we can say in this the datum line is this and all the uh, things related to the specific region is concentrated to this datum line okay so actually there are six or ordering principles in architecture that is axis symmetry hierarchy datum rhythm repetition and transformation okay so we can have a datum volume or datum plane etc here in this figure we can see the datum line okay so and this was another doubt regarding the mock test question and this was the question if sig theta plus tan theta is equal to x then tan theta is so we clearly know this identity that sig square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 right so from this quadratic equation it's not quadratic equation okay this from this equation we can have this sig theta plus tan theta into sec theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 right so we have already sec theta plus tan theta with us with us that is x so x into sec theta plus tan theta sec theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 or sec theta minus tan theta will be 1 by x okay so sig theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by x and sig theta plus tan theta is equal to x solving the two equations with two variables we will get tan theta as x square minus 1 divided by 2x how to do that if this is our first equation and this is our second equation then sub uh, subtract the first from the second and then you will end up with 2 tan theta and then find tan theta okay 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 so we are going to the topic architects and before going to the topic the one who attended all the discussion questions in the previous video first was Haridamati so congratulations and we can go through the architects world famous architects okay so Frank Lloyd Wright he is an innovative American architect designer writer and educator harmony with humanity and its environment is a philosophy and he called uh, that as organic architecture okay so 
but he is also a pioneer of modern architecture along with walter gropius and some famous architects who included in um, bauhaus movement okay so he is also there uh, in modern architecture but he himself calls his philosophy as organic architecture okay and by the american institute of architects he is also known as the greatest american architect of all time and he is also regarded as an architect of space okay now let's see which are the famous buildings or what are the famous contributions of frank lloyd wright so i think you know uh, you all know this falling waters and this is guggenheim museum and this is peacock chair a interior work by him and this is talisin house and this is robi house okay and he he has also done many projects and one of that is broiler city and a part of it is now unesco world heritage site okay now this is the next one we are about to discuss with and he is ludwig mies van der rohe and he is one of the pioneers of modernist architecture and he is a german american architect and his famous quoting is less is more okay he himself calls calls his buildings as kings and bonds why because he used most mostly steel bars and uh some structure which will uh occupy all those steel bars so he himself calls his buildings as skins and bonds and architecture with minimal framework of structural border balanced against the implied freedom of unobstructed free flowing open space so in all of his structures we can see a free flowing open space like you look this beautiful barcelonian pavilion okay uh, in spain and this is crown hall chicago and this is franzworth house and if you see this really and the interior work he has done in this franzworth house it is very open and it's ha it has lots of space it is not uh, dumped with many furniture or many extravagant uh, curtains or extravagant other interior works so yes that is why he calls his buildings as skin and bonds and this is new national gallery berlin and this is westmount square canada okay Now moving on to next architect Renzo Piano. He is an Italian architect, and he has got Pritzker Architectural Prize in nineteen ninety eight. And these are his famous works. And this is Kansi International Airport. And this is Center George Pompidou Paris. And this is Shard. I think you know you all know this building shard London and this is New York Times building in Manhattan and this is Whitney Museum of American Art Manhattan and this is Biosphere okay Moving on to next lady architect Dennis Scott Brown He's an American architect and planner and robert venturi was named as a winner of 1991 prisker architecture prize who is her husband and scott brown did not attend the award ceremony in protest why because robert venturi and dennis scott brown were partners in a 
architectural firm and many of the uh, many of the buildings whom uh, for, for which uh, robert venturi got the prisker architectural prize were also a contribution from dennis scott brown but she was denied prisker architecture prize and hence uh, she has uh, she has wrote many essays regarding uh, the equality of woman architect in a firm uh, where she is also a partner uh, so there are many history for her okay uh, we are not going to that deep and also she had won jane drew prize in 2017 okay these are the famous buildings of her this is shanghai china and this is Seattle art museum washington and this is brown university campus rhode island okay moving on to next andrea palladio he is an italian renaissance architect and his teachings were summarized in the book sorry in the book four books of architecture you can see the book cover here this is four books of architecture and unesco as a part of world heritage site named city of vicenza and palladian villas of veneto okay so city of vicenza and palladian villas, uh, villas of veneto are a part of unesco world heritage site and most of the i think 300 of the buildings in city of vicenza are contributed by um, andrea palladio so yes we can see one by one this is villa rotunda and it is in italy and this is basilica palladiana in same in italy and this is teatro olimpio in italy marvelous works right okay now the most wanted session you all guys asked for in many videos biological effects of colors these are some miscellaneous topics okay because I can't fetch more uh, but I will be trying to fetch them and yes I will include in further videos so this is one of the biological effect of color this is after image and after image in is an image that continues to appear in eyes after a period of exposure of the original image okay so this is an example for after image observe this image for 30 seconds either by pausing the video or yes i will talk uh, so you can look this image for 30 seconds stare at it and then look here in the white uh, white background okay so and see what you see i think the colors will be different sometimes the background color will be different yeah there will be some differences and the different image which will continue to appear in front of eyes after a period of exposure of the original image is known as after image okay now the next one is impossible colors or we will also call them as chimerical colors Impossible colors are the colors that do not appear in ordinary visual functioning. We can't see those colors in real life. But yes, we can see them as an effect of another color which our eyes is already in, expose, uh, already in exposure. Okay. So watch this red in gray background for some time that means at 30 seconds and then watch the background white background you will see a particular color which you have not seen in any real life okay okay so it just post the video and try it uh, you will see a particular color uh, a bluish green something like that 
so that uh, those are known as impossible colors okay now moving on to next topic photo okay asthenopia i think this was a option uh, for the previous nata exam where the real option was um, what is known as chromostereopsis so what is asthenopia we don't want to detail all the asthenopia but yes the thing which we are concerned with is photogenous or photogenic asthenopia and this is due to uh, this is a visual fatigue due to excessive or excessive or improper illumination for example if you are watching a monitor screen or um, laptop screens for a, uh, for a while that means for, for a long time um, yes we will we will feel a visual fatigue and this is known as asthenopia okay so and we are done with one more topic this is opponent process so what is opponent process opponent process is a color theory that states the human visual system interprets information about color by processing signals from corn cells and rod cells in an antagonist manner when people stare at a bright color for too long for example red and look away at the white field they will perceive a green color activation of one member of the pair inhibits activity in the other okay so what it says simply is when we look at one proper color and uh, for a while and then stare at a white or blank background you will see another color which is so much different from the color which we actually see it's a type of impossible colors right so actually this opponent process is a theory which explains the impossible colors which we dealt with uh, some uh, some yeah before some time before okay so just watch this image and see what are the colors you are experiencing after a while when you look in this white background comment that uh what is opposite to this blue color what is the color which we got in place of yellow color here and what we got in place of green and in place of red okay just comment it so that's all guys uh, so thank you for watching do subscribe share and comment